I wanted to do a video on the early days of the AIDS epidemic and the impact it had on the LGBT community. Um, this is the archived um, obituary page for the Bay, Bay Area Reporter. The Bay Area Reporter is a um, newspaper that um, it caters to the LGBT community in the San Francisco Bay Area. This is um, only takes in the San Francisco area. Um, there's some obituaries where people may have moved away and um, from San Francisco and then their family um, bought a obituary when they passed away. Um, I'm gonna do, they archived their obituaries back to 1979 and so I'm gonna do a search from 1979 to 1983 um, four years um, there's not that many of them there's um, I think I counted 17 but that's four years of obituaries in a um, newspaper that caters to and targets the um, um, LGBT audience. Um, the most notable person on there is Paul Lynn. And remember this takes in before AIDS and um, a little bit after AIDS. AIDS um, wasn't discovered um, until 1981 when the first deaths were happening. Um, now I'm going to search from July 1981 to um, May of 1987. The significance of those dates? July 3rd, 1981 was the first time that um, AIDS had, getting, had gotten any press. Um, the New York Times first published an article um, July 3rd, 1981 and uh, about AIDS and said that the uh, um, 41 homosexuals had died of a mysterious cancer. Um, and it wasn't until almost six years later, May 30th, 1987, when President Ronald Reagan first mentioned the word AIDS. Six years. And remember, this is only the San Francisco Bay Area doesn't include any other metropolitan area, doesn't include New York City, Chicago, New Orleans, Atlanta, doesn't include any of those. This is just the San Francisco Bay Area. And it certainly doesn't include any rural areas. And granted, not 100% of these are AIDS-related deaths, but I'm guessing the majority are. and we finally get to the end. So, a little reminder, this is only the San Francisco Bay Area. This is only for um, people that had obituaries placed in that newspaper. Remember, obituaries had to be, have to be paid for by either the estate or the family. And granted, a lot of people didn't have obituaries printed for him in the newspaper. So, 
Um, this is only a, sm a segment of deaths, and granted, not 100% of them are, are AIDS-related, but I'm going to guess the majority are.